everybody, welcome back to It's Only. I'm with my mom. Hi, mom. Hey. And we are currently in Fort Dodge, which is a town that I used to go to college in. And we're actually going through the college I used to attend called Iowa Central Community College. And we're looking for the bookstore to see if I can find some alumni swag. Maybe we'll have a, an alumni gift for me since I made the triumphant return. Thank you so much for your contributions to our university and all the money that you paid us. Here's a gift. But yeah, this is the little university, little Iowa Central. So yeah. This building here, the Applied Science and Technology building, that's where I had a lot of my criminal justice classes. Learned how to pull people over and beat them up if they got mouthy. So this is where I graduated, right in there. Hodges Field House. And these were dorm rooms, which were two bedroom apartments. So I would share with three other people. My first dorm, the building way back there, was my very first dorm. And then my last dorm here, last dorm was right here. And that was the last dorm room I ever lived in. After that, uh, Seth Gert and I got our own apartment. But yeah, this is Iowa Central, the very first college that I, I graduated from with my associates of something, arts, science, and criminal justice. Throughout our trip today, I'm going to highlight some things from our past living in Fort Dodge and show you some things, some locations and areas from previous videos that you've either seen or not seen. At that hospital right there is where I got diagnosed with a sprained back because of working at the Pete's Ranch and they gave me medication to heal my back and I only took it for half the time I was prescribed and I was a young immature kid and he said I was better than that and stopped taking it. Probably still deal with the effects of it because of that. So congratulations, Jesse. Lesson learned here, kids, take your medication when the doctor gives it to you. Because it was healing my back, but I was like, okay, I'm good, and then I stopped. It's okay, Mom, you can voice your opinions out loud. She's just sitting over here shaking her head. <laughs> That's where Seth had his second set, set of tubes done. Oh, really? Seth had tubes put in his ears. Over there. His second set. Second set of tubes. Second set of boobs put in over there. <laughs> so we got a second set of boobs. All right, so we're gonna go over this big bridge here. And in 2008, the movie Cloverfield came out and we were really, really into that movie. The clip that I'm about to show you is gonna show you exactly where Joel Doolittle was running very quickly down the middle of the bridge. This is the Victorian world. That, yeah. is, that is nothing left. That's what that's where Walmart used this to used, be. Yeah, this used to be where Walmart was. This bridge is built above Fort Dodge. <sighs> it's it's pretty scary. This is this is unbelievable. What is going on in this? Let's just hope Cloverfield doesn't. Come hey, back. don't jump! Don't jump! All right, Joel. Yeah, don't jump! Let's hope Cloverfield doesn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> Our... Should I just go sprint down the middle of that road? Do it, right do it, do it. I'll race the next car. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> cars coming! Cars coming! Joel, cars coming! Your way, your way! Hurry, get over, get over, get over! They did not see him because he's so fast. <laughs> <laughs> he's the fastest man I've ever seen in my what life. What is that? He is the fastest man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't believe it! I've got what is going on? on this earth left of on these parts. Dude, man, I hope Cloverfield doesn't come. We're screwed. This is where we spotted Cloverfield. This is where Joel was running down the road. And we told him, quick, get over to the other side because the car was coming. And you heard all the planes and the explosions and everything happening around us because Cloverfield was attacking Fort Dodge. And that's exactly where it happened. So this here is the Nestle Purina plant, which, and I could be remembering incorrectly, but when I worked here, it was Friskies, the cat food Friskies. It's uh, a big plant that creates the now Purina dog food. And I worked security there. That was one of my first, what I considered, serious jobs after college. I was to work at the front gate, doing security, checking in trucks, and then doing rounds around the, the plant. It was the biggest bunch of crock because what I basically was, was a front gate attendant who had to do a ton of math 
to check in semi trucks and weigh their loads that they were bringing in and out. And then at the very tip end of the shift, we got to do the cool part, which was to walk around the entire plant and do security checks on bay doors and trash chutes and giant trains. And it was amazing. But the fact that 99% of my job throughout the rest of the time of my shift was doing math for semi truck drivers, I was like, nah, fam. And I quit after I think working three shifts or two shifts. I was like, yeah, I'm good. All right, so we're coming up on the apartment that I referenced earlier when we were driving through the campus. And we actually used to live by this little school here, Riverside School. This was the very first apartment that Seth, Gert, and I ever had together. And I'll splice in some clips here of videos that we did in, in this apartment and memories. So where this white truck is sitting, white truck right here, 715, that's where we used to live. Yep, right back there. Wow, I see inside for the first time in forever. Right, right, right there, wow. So many memories there, so many memories. We woke up after our first night, New Year's Eve, and we had a sewage backup in our apartment and the floor was covered in sewage water. And then over here we have a playground. Again, splicing some some videos from this playground because we have made some memories here as well. Plenty of memories out here in this playground. So there's just another piece of reminiscing. Well, we are back in town now. So we're back in my hometown of Rockwell City, Iowa. This is where we moved to when I was nine months old and I've called it home ever since. I'm now um, on my way to being 33 years old. So I've lived here basically my entire life, my entire existence. So I'm gonna take you to a few places that, that are substantial in in my life, in my childhood. And the first of those is actually this building right in front of me, which is actually under a massive expansion. This is the old Rockwell City Elementary School, and it looks so much different than it did. But before I was a homeschooled kid, I attended this school here, and I went to pre-kindergarten. 
and I walked out these doors where these two ladies here are walking out. That was the only time that I attended public school until I was homeschooled and through eighth grade. And if you look here, that room right there was my pre-kindergarten class. And so that's where I had my very first public school experience. Up here, we have a baseball field over here that you'll actually see in this next clip. Hey, thank you, Walter. And I'm on site of the very first uh, Rockwood City Wildcats baseball game. It's very intense tonight. You can smell, you can cut the tension in the air with a knife. But there's many blood, sweat, and tears put in this gravel around us in the three weeks of baseball. So let's check out the crowds that came out today to watch and the Wildcats. Wildcats. Wildcats are up one to two on the clear. I mean, the sacks of the Indians. So, ah, oh, ah, ball one. All right, I'm sorry about that, folks. And we're still on the game, and uh, things are going good for the Wildcats. Not really, because they keep striking out. But, anyways, the crowd's really getting rowdy. Well, the score is still two to one. Ball two. And we are this. I mean, uh, <laughs> um. Well, the baseball game is going okay. It's almost near the end. The Wildcats suck. I don't even know why we even have a professional baseball. I mean, not professional baseball team for our high school. It's ridiculous. And it's stupid, and it's... Then we have the most impactful piece of land outside of my home here in Rock City. This is Sunnyview Independent Living. This is my second home, was my second home until my dad retired. He was the manager here, and it is, a, like I said, an independent living. So it's a, basically a, a place for the seniors to come live. We filmed in my my very first Thanksgiving video, I filmed here, and that was literally the last time I stepped foot on this property. Played at, on snow piles out here, we mowed the lawn, we played on the roof, countless things, absolutely countless things. The exit sign, what is its meaning? Why has it been placed on the first? <laughs> the exit sign. <laughs> The exit sign. The exit sign. What is its meaning? Why is it? <laughs> keep, keep it on. Keep it on. Safety. Go. 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 The exit sign. What is its meaning? <laughs> the exit sign. What is it meaning? What is it? <laughs> the exit sign. What is its meaning? Why was it placed here on Earth? Let's consult the gates of water. So next on the list is my very first real job. It's called the Pizza Ranch. And those of you who are from Iowa are gonna fully understand what that is. But those of you who aren't, who aren't from Iowa or the Midwest probably won't know what that is. But it's a pizza place. They serve broasted chicken, not fried chicken, broasted chicken. And this is the old location of it, this building right here. And that was where I started my very first job at the age of 14. And it's now closed. So I worked at Pizza Ranch for five and a half years. And I started at the, the large wage of $4.95 an hour as a bus boy slash dish boy. And I ended my five and a half year tenure as a supervisor. Ended there at $7.25 an hour. So I worked my way up for show. The thing about small towns is you have to find places to hang out all the time and just enjoy. So this Casey's General Store, which is a massive, beautiful piece 
of the Midwest because that's where God created the first pizza. Not really, but it's the greatest pizza known to man. We would literally go play football in that parking lot. In the gas station parking lot, we play football. <laughs> cool thing is in Rockwell City there's an original Carnegie library it's not used anymore it's not the actual library anymore but it was the library of my childhood and I played everything from the Oregon Trail on the PC discs rented out countless Berenstein Bear books and and all sorts of crazy cool things but you can still see that the shell of it exists and it still says Carnegie Library at the top. And it also says on the door, watch for the Carnegie Project. I don't know if they're gonna be restoring this or what's gonna happen, but this is super historical and a beautiful piece that I really hope that they uh, put some time and effort in to bring it back to the way it used to be. Classic Rock City Water Tower. The infamous John Johnson snow pile that Seth and I played on year after year after year. And then we go right into home. Da 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 da